Welcome to another episode of Marketing 101. Dr. Rico here. We are going to be talking about chat GPT, but we're going to be talking about AI really and all the ways we can use it as entrepreneurs, business owners, chiropractors, health service providers, and how we can use this to save us time uh, in all aspects of our business, not just digital marketing. So let's get into this. It's been a hot topic. People are asking this all the time. Um, ways we use it and ways I think you should use it is really to generate content. It's so much easier to use ChatGPT or BARD or any AI tool to generate the content for you. Uh, yes, it sounds like AI. Yes, you can tell AI wrote it, but it's much easier to edit these things than it is to create it from scratch. So great ways to use it would be things like content marketing, definitely content more blog posts and articles. Use chat GBT or bar to generate engaging and informative content for your website, your social media channels, uh, and then just focus on pain problems, common pain problems that chiropractors solve or that your health service solves for itself. Uh, email marketing. I love this. Who loves writing emails and why do you need to personalize these emails, especially when you're creating nurture sequences? What you can do is be like, listen, I and you have to be specific. Here's and we're going to get into how to use AI properly. It's not as easy as like, please generate twelve emails for me for my chiropractic office. That's not. That's not. They're not going to be good. So what we want to do is have a structure and an objective and a plan on what we want to accomplish. Then AI becomes a great tool to use. So let's say we want to create an email sequence for our office. I would like all new patients that start care with us, meaning that they come to their second visit, start getting adjusted, and agree to a course of care to be entered into this nurturing sequence to get them better results faster. I prov And then period. Then in our office, we provide postural assessment technologies like X-Ray and Posture Pro, where we will reevaluate them every six weeks. Over the course of 24 weeks, we our goal as a chiropractic office for the majority of our patients is to get them to better postural angles and analytics. Please write exercise, stretches, programs, and all the things that they can do over the course of 12 emails over 24 weeks that I could use for them to be auto-populated in a nurture sequence. That is the exact prompt that you put into your AI. ChatGPT is the most used. And watch what happens. Is it perfect? No. But you just got 12 emails in 50 seconds that you can copy and paste into your CRM and just get it going. It's just so much. Yes, you should spend some time editing them. But the one to two minutes that it takes to edit each one of them in 25, 30 minutes, you've created 12 emails. You're done. That's it. This will be used for the next one, two, three, four, five years in your business. It's absolutely phenomenal. That's one example of how to use AI to speed up things. Website cop copywriting. Why can't we use chat GPT with clear descriptions that are concise and persuasive to generate content for your website. Again, you're gonna have to change little things like the address, the location, the neighborhoods you provide, um, the name of your business. These things is what makes it unique. So that's no longer plagiarizing in any way, shape or form because you're taking copywriting out of the whole thing, putting it to your website. This can help your SEO as well. And then of course, social media captions. I love generating all the stuff on ChatGPT saying, hey, create 30 uh, posts for my Facebook page for our chiropractic office for this month. This month is uh, mental health awareness. Keep most of them around that, but any general wellness topics would be appreciated as well. Boom. 20 out of 30 are based around mental health and, and, um, focus. And the other 10 are about drinking water, getting sunlight, all that good stuff. And then they're all hashtagged with the most popular hashtags from the internet. It's, it's a no brainer copy, literally copy and paste. A better thing to do is maybe attach a video to those posts, which makes you, the content yours, or a picture that makes it even better rather than just text. Simple rules we've been teaching you over the years. Okay, that's just content marketing. You guys ready? Let's go. You better have a pen and paper ready for today. <laughs> Patient management. How people, you know, are like, I have a doc that I was coaching. He's like, I've been writing my x ray reports on Chat GPT and soap notes, and they're actually. Good. 
We'll get in there in a second. Patient management. How about answering basic, basic questions for like your Instagram and Facebook auto chat responders? You guys know how to do this, right? Because you've been listening to me for two years. So you know how to do all this stuff. It's fantastic. So we know what we're talking about right now, right? If not, ask. It's what I do. Answer basic questions on chat GPT to develop a virtual assistant. Chatbots, Facebook, and Meta have it right in there. When you have your business page, you can go into the back end on your manager site and then choose autoresponders are the top questions. I think it allows you to pick four top questions that it will answer. Do you take insurance? Are you open on weekends? Do you help pregnancy? Whatever it may be, uh, get started. You can have these little auto prompts, but ask ChatGPT to do it for your chiropractic office that specializes in these two niches, and you're going to get better, better questions. Appointment scheduling. That's kind of cool. You can do stuff online. Uh, create your calendars and your online booking appointments through there through using ChatGPT and then follow up messages. These could be automated copy and paste messages. Yes, you can copy and paste this stuff. This is not plagiarism or copyright. They're just simple automated chatbot responses to questions, Q&A stuff. Okay. Super easy, cool stuff that we can do there. Some outside of the box things you can do is generate personalized reports. Let's say somebody asks for, or maybe a physical therapist, you're going to refer them out there. Use ChatGPT to quickly analyze your, you can literally copy the last re-exam that you did, paste it into ChatGPT, uh, minus their information, don't put their name or anything, put that in there and say, ChatGPT, please now create a report based on the findings that I found from my last diagnostic note as a chiropractor for a referral to a physical therapist. Uh, guys, it's how much easier is that? Brainstorming and, and idea generation, develop training materials um, for your staff. You can you can create use ChatGPT to to create training materials, basic outlines that you can now on your weekly meetings, team meetings, go on a training outline. Say create a sixteen week training protocol for our chiropractic office that has been around for six years and serves about 400 visits a week uh, of a mix of children, infants, pregnancy, auto injury, injury, sports injuries, adult and senior care, um, pre training uh, protocol on what, you know, I'm just, I'm rambling now, but whatever it is, training, you can be as, as general like that where you write an entire training manual for that, which will give you bullet points on how to do it. And then you just break it into chapters. It may be a nine chapter book. It may be whatever it is. You can use AI to help you do things faster. Things to consider when we're when we're doing this stuff is always, so this is it. I mean, this is what the podcast is about. And I know what questions come out from this is fact checking. Make sure everything is fact checked. ChatGPT's knowledge, it still says, goes till the end of 2021. Okay, so things have changed in the last two years. Make sure it's fact and accurate. It does give out wrong information. Be careful. So whatever you, you decide to put out there, and I'm not worried about plagiarism and all that. You're not going to get in trouble for this. Your reputation's on the line. I posted an ad on the on our group, our marketing group, and a chiropractor responded and said, oh my gosh, I, I could never use that with that. I did the auto... Um, uh, caption reading that TikTok does. You know that lady that talks over? So you put the text in and the robot, it almost sounds like a robot, but it's like a robot voice reading it. I put it out there and they couldn't pronounce chiropractic and they couldn't pronounce uh, something else, lutes. They couldn't say the location of my practice. And um, a, a doctor responded validly saying, I wouldn't be able to use that. That's horrible pronunciation of it. But me knowing what I know with marketing, it doesn't matter about the pronunciation. Most people are engaged on social media between 7 p.m. and midnight, and, and their phones are turned on low. They're not listening to every time the music comes on on a video, people turn their silencer on or put it all the way down because they don't want to wake up the kids or bother their spouse or whatever it may be. So captions are so important on there. So I know this, and the doctor was more fixated on their reputation, which I understand, but I'm cool putting it out there because we generate so much content and done is better than perfect. So for me, that's okay. For those of you that are perfectionists, I understand this is difficult. Okay. So fact check and accuracy for me, it's just as important as it is for you. It's your reputation on the line. Make sure that everything that's going through is correct. Uh, maintaining personal touch. Don't replace the human interaction with AI. 
anything that needs to be done with a human touch, like answering a call, booking an appointment, uh, sending an email with information for the patient on how to get to your office or anything like that should be the human experience. You can use tools to enhance that, but make sure we don't replace that with 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 what the human experience is supposed to be there. Very difficult to replicate an exam, chiropractic exam using AI. They need to come in, they need to see the chiropractor, they need to do the orthopedics, they need someone to actually push the button to take an x-ray, whatever it is that you do, that's not gonna be replaced by AI. So don't give that kind of feeling that everything is being replaced. The human element is what makes us health service providers very different than most industries. Transparency and ethics, be transparent, about that you're using AI. You can you can absolutely put that on there. When we write blogs, I love it because it comes out in three, four paragraphs, and then I go back and proofread it and, and be a, an editor, like a writing editor. I go in there and I edit things, completely change sentences, put in some facts from some reputable websites like the ICPA or, or uh, PubMed, whatever it may be, and cite those in there to make it more valid and to make it my own, for sure. So just be thoughtful and responsible when using any type of AI. But the big benefits of using it is how much time you save. I cannot stress this enough. For me, as busy as I am, it has been an absolutely fantastic tool. And the more people I talk to, I get more ideas on how to do this, like writing an x-ray report, writing a closing statement for a referral. writing I mean, these are things that just save time. Reach a wider audience faster using AI improve patient engagement and satisfaction, and you just build stronger relationships with your current existing patients because you have better systems and procedures that help serve them in their business. Very cool stuff uh, that you can use on ChatGPT. The ways we use it in our office, definitely blogs, and then I edit them because blogs should be going out almost monthly. It's just good for your SEO. So if you're kind of wrapping up this podcast, you're like, Enrico, tell me the two things I need to do. Get familiar with ChatGPT. BART is good too. ChatGPT just has a few better features where you can rewrite, rewrite, rewrite until you get the right answer. Um, use it for that. Use it for social media posts. I'm a big fan of that. Use it for social media posts and, and use it for any types of edits or content creation that you need through there as well. There's other AI programs out there for video, for text generation, for um, shortening video shorts for your YouTube reels. There's a whole bunch of cool tools out there. Explore it. Don't just throw money at stuff. Many of them offer you free trials. Take advantage of those seven-day free trials or those 60 minutes of like uploading free trials. Test it out. See which ones work for you. For nominal fees, you can do great things. Um, so that's how we start off. Some of you are running, you know, month to month in your businesses, like most entrepreneurs, we get it. So where the funds come from to, to delegate and hire more people can be sparse or it can be wide, depending on your income and your profitability. And we understand this. So the lowest level of engagement and the cheapest is for you to do it. But is it truly the cheapest for you to do it, to exchange your time, to get something done? What's your value? And I've realized this the hard way. You got to delegate because your time is worth more than something as easy as writing a blog. So you delegate these stuff. Once the staff that you have are full, it's time to start hiring and delegating other people to do things. This is where you kind of step up. And it actually costs thousands of dollars per month to do this. Something as simple as social media creation. We're tackling this in our office. It's such a huge void and a mountain. And it's it's like a black hole. It just sucks all of our energy. Um, but then when you try and delegate it, People charge three, four, five thousand dollars a month to put out content for your office. And then you ask them, what content do you put? And you look at it and you're like, that's garbage. And for that price, it's crazy. I'm like, well, do we get content like once or twice a day? They're like three to five times a week. I'm like, this is nuts. You're crazy. You're a, you're a crazy person not paying you. I don't care how I know uh, chiropractors do two, three, four, five million dollars a year in their businesses. We agree. They're like, that. that's kind of crazy to spend $4,000 a month for a social media manager. You'd better off spending two, three, four thousand dollars $4,000 and bringing someone into your office that can be a multi-use Swiss Army knife that can do your social media, that can do your recalls, that can call all the leads, that you can just manage a few things off of your plate so that your office manager can do their thing, your check-in assistant can do their thing, your chiropractic assistant that's actually doing modalities for you can do their thing. And then you've got this Swiss army knife in the back doing the stuff that they actually enjoy doing, social media, content creation, using ChatGPT for you. 
and then you just kind of supervise as, as a CEO. So that's how we kind of level up. But jumping in and trying to hire someone and then forcing them to do things doesn't work. Been there, done that. I hope that helps as well. Don't be shy, G- chat GPT. The legal issues is copy and pasting things, making it your own, and at worst, selling it. That's where you're going to get into trouble. None of you are selling blogs or books. Um, so don't. So you're okay that way. The only thing you have to worry about is just when you copy it to either make it known that it's copied or to just uh, to just acknowledge it. Uh, and that's fine. You don't have to do it for everything. Like if you create a Facebook ad and you change a couple things around, put your put your uh, clinic in there and change a couple sentences, it now becomes yours. That's what AI is for. It's actually a legal use of it. It's there to assist you, so you don't have to type out all twenty five hundred words. You can go in there and fix two hundred of them. Go for it. Try it. Give me some feedback. I'm excited about this one because once you start to stream with this stuff, you'll get a lot more stuff done. The little things that need to be done. Many of you don't update your blogs. Many of you don't update your SEO. Many of you don't have consistent content out there. Why can't you just go onto ChatGPT, do the 30-day thing, go into your meta business manager, put them all in for 30 days because it only allows you to go 29 days in the future and have all your content done for the month. At least one thing that has been organically generated by your office, not a copy and paste image. Oh, man, a breath. Let's end the podcast. Have a fantastic week. Take care.